In order to understand what it means to be human, we first must begin with God. It is God who gives us our being. Out of his life and his love, we were created in his image. As a child looks to her parent to begin contemplating the mystery of who she is, so we look to God to begin understanding what it means to be his children. God is a being who is wholly different and separate from us, yet regards us as his own. Throughout the narrative of scripture, we see God as one who is in relationship within himself, between Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This relationship is one that consists of mutual love and mutual self-giving. God's glory and God's strength, time and time again, show up in weakness. Ultimately, in Jesus, coming to live on this earth and dying a death only we deserve. It is in the life, ministry, death, and resurrection of Jesus that we begin to see what it means to be human. Jesus, the one who shows us what it means to live in perfect humanity, was fully dependent on his Father and obedient unto death. Jesus sought his Father's kingdom and lived to see its fulfillment come. As humans, we are fully dependent on God. We are dependent on his grace and his love to call us to himself because we belong to him. We are called in freedom to obey him and seek his kingdom. His kingdom is one founded on love. Therefore, humanity's purpose is to love, to love God and then to love others. 1 John 4.19 tells us that we love because God first loved us. God's other affirming, community-forming love is showcased in creation and in the life and death of Jesus. This love is what allows us to love God and also to love others. To be human is to be a child of God, albeit some are in rebellion. Yet, nonetheless, his love is after each of us. Humanity has the freedom to respond to the love of God however we may choose. Yet, it is in receiving his grace that we begin to understand the fullness of our humanity.